Hey folks, this is our flooding here at the memorial meet at Pals. We did about a month of work repairing our track from the tax day floods on April 18th, only to see today it looks like most of the track's been washed out again. So we're starting here. This is about as close as we can get to Summerall on Dead Man's Curve. You can see that track on the left, all the ballast is being washed out from under it. We're going to see how far we can go today. This is all full of water. Anderson Loop's passable, so you can see the swale. Spilled all the way up to here. Of course, all of this is usually completely dry. Here's where all the real fun begins. All of our inner, inner loop there filled up. The nice lightning still going on. Let's see if we can back out there to show you a bit. You might be able to see hanging out in the water we've got some tracks floated away from its roadbed. All the water flowing in from our parking lot. Once again, all of this should be dry. Binky Creek Bridge over there has water obviously flowing over it and through it. And closer we've got the phase one dual gauge track where the water is eating the ballast right out from under it. This is all track we just had to redo. And up ahead is our now floating dock track. This track is, of course, supposed to continue straight off into the distance, but it has been washed away by the incoming water and now makes a pretty jagged left-hand turn, and all of our new ties are floating out there. So we've got a good, I don't know, 100, 150 feet of track just floating out there.
and beyond where this stretch is, we've got our little concrete crossing that's holding it in place, but after that, the track is washed out again, too. All this water that should be flowing to the creek is flowing away from the creek. And flowing quite rapidly, too. normally would want to line this switch back, but I don't think it matters today. <laughs> Little engine still doing fine though. Most people stayed away because of the rain. There are just a few of us out here. Fortunately, all our facilities are high enough. They were okay. Got a little bit of water in 13 stitches, one of our track maintenance buildings earlier, but everything else is okay. Magnolias in bloom. All of our gauge one track is inaccessible. find our other Brave House members, Clyde standing and Gary on his locomotive. Debris washed up on the track. Yeah. I'm kind of taking a video driving around to the whole place. Demon bays all full of water. You want to go to the other end? I'll we'll go to the other end. Cars are still managing to get by on Roberts Road somehow, but the, their wake is making it all the way into the Steeman base here. Gazebo completely surrounded by water. Wish I had a better video camera than my phone, but we'll keep trying. And our one inch gauge, or one inch scale, the four and three quarter track is washed off its roadbed again over here at Sweetwater, where the station is again surrounded by water. And as you can see, the water is up pretty high on our crossbuck signs to get over to gauge one. I've been told my insect, insect repellent was left over there. I can't quite get to that today. But yeah, at least as of this morning, we could get everywhere except Boneyard and back of Phase 3. But as of now, really can't get much of anywhere. You've been on the whole track except heading out towards the Phase 4 bridge. The water does seem like it's starting to go down, but... It's going to be a long time before we're dried out, so thanks for watching.